Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a very, very simple dermatology 101. Today, we are going to explain about basic skin physiology, keratinization, and ichthyosis. First of all, our skin is considered to be in the integumentary system. Its function including sensing, protection, excretion, and temperature regulation. There are three main layers of the skin: the epidermis on the topmost of superficial part. The dermis in the middle and the subcutaneous on the bottom. Keratin is a type of protein found on the epithelial cells, which line the inside and outside surfaces of the body. They help form the tissues of the hairs, nails, and the outer layers of the skin. They have the main function of keeping all the structures and cells together, and they mainly consist of cystein. Keratin modulation in the cells consists of three main important steps, including first one migration, second one growth, and the last one adhesion. Keratinization is a process in which keratinocytes produce large amount of protein called keratin to protect the inner parts of the skin from being damaged from any sources. The epidermis is the outermost layers of the skin. It consists of five layers. Stratum corneum, lucidum, granulosum, spinosum, and basally. The epidermis, consisting of five layers: stratum corneum, translucent layer, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basale, houses the process of keratinization that starts from the basale, in which the cells divide and migrates up to form the spinosum. The kernel side of the stratum spinosum are pushed into stratum granulosum. The cells become flatter, the cell membrane thicken, and they generate large amount of keratin and keratin. The stratum corneum consists of piles of dead keratinocytes that are the end products of thermal differentiation of epidermal keratinocytes. The shedding of the corneum or desquamation from the stratum corneum balances the proliferation of keratinocytes. That the stratum basale creates. Condition characterized by persistently dry, thickened skin. There are many types of ichthyosis, but the most common type that will be mentioned is ichthyosis vulgaris. Ichthyosis vulgaris, also known as fish scale disease, is a type of ichthyosis marked by dry skin, excessive scaling, chicken skin, and hyperkeratosis, as well as significant link to. Atopic disorders, which are immune system problems that make you more vulnerable to have allergic conditions. The root word of "ichy" comes from the Greek word "ichthys," which means fish. It is from the symptom of the condition where the skin is dry, thick, scaly, just like a fish. Hyperkeratosis is the increased thickness of the stratum corneum, the outer layer of the skin. It happens through the process of epidermal hypro. Proliferation or the rapid cell division of the epidermal cells, and is the result of a skin defect. There will be an increased cohesion of corneocytes or the differentiated keratinocytes, which mean that they will stick more together, causing a decrease in desquamation or shedding of the skin surface. On the left side, we have the histology slide of a normal skin, but on the right is the histology slide of the skin with ichthyosis vulgaris. There is a hyperkeratosis that happens, which results in a thick layer of keratin on the outermost part of the skin. There are different types of ichthyosis. These are the examples of many types of ichthyosis, such as lamellar ichthyosis, X-link ichthyosis, and our primary focus, ichthyosis vulgaris. All of them are caused by genetics and can be inherited to other generations. Ichthyosis vulgaris is caused by the mutation of genes that code for profiligrin proteins. Profiligrin turns into filigrin, which is the major component of keratohyalin, a protein involved in keratinization. The mutation leads to less profiligrin and also less filigrin. Filigrin deficiency leads to the leaky skin barrier that allows more. 
water loss, so the skin becomes dry and scaly. In filaquin generation, profilaquin is synthesized in the granular layer by translating FLG genes. At the granular to codify cell transition, profilaquin cleaves by protease into filaquin. Filaquin then aggregates into the upper layers of the skin. It brings together structural proteins to create a strong barrier which carry out various functions, including hydration and UV protection. In ichthyosis walkeris patients, there are mutations in the FLG genes, resulting in filaquin disruption. Inappropriate profilaquin is synthesized in the granular layer. Then, they are unsuitably cleaved into the inappropriate filaquin. Improper filaquin proteins move up through the skin layers until they reach to the top part. Then, they created an inconvenient skin barrier with holes that allow water to pass through. This resulting in loosening of the skin hydration along with dry and thick skin. So, in comparison to the normal people, ichthyosis walkeris patients will have more unorganized structures of the proteins and keratin inside their strata conium or the topmost layers of the skin. These unorganized structures could lead to visible scaly-like patterns on the skin due to the lack of moisture and hydration which can be relieved by applying a topical cream containing urea, propylene glycol, lactic acid, and other alpha hydroxy acid that help in moisturization, hydration, and shedding of the skin. Also, this abnormality of the skin structures can cause difficulty in skin shedding process or desquamation, which lead to hard and fixed skin condition due to hyperkeratosis. To summarize, Keratinization happens in the skin. The skin has four main functions, sensing, protection, secretion, and temperature regulation. They also have keratin in its structure to help provide strength. There are three main layers of the skin, the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous layer, and the epidermis can be further divided into five layers. Keratinization happens in these layers of the epidermis. The cells in the stratum basale divides, and when they mature and lose the ability to divide, they move up to the next layer of the skin. They are going to undergo differentiation, which is a change in shape and biochemical properties. They then continue to migrate to the surface, until they reach the stratum corneum and sheds off. The process is called maturation and should take 28 days. Ichaiosis is a disease which interferes with keratinization, causing the skin to become hard and dry. It is caused by a mutation in the prophylaxis gene, meaning that there is no filaquin in the stratum corneum, which is important to the structure of the epidermis. Prophylaxis are secreted in the stratum granulosum layer. They are then cleaved into multiple copies of filaquins found in stratum corneum. They are important to the structure because its deficiency would cause too much water to leave the skin, causing the skin to become dry.